You might not guess it, but all EVs, including Teslas, have a 12 volt battery inside of them. And they power the same exact things as a internal combustion engine vehicle would. Uh, the headlights, the doors, the locks, the computers, the screens, all of it. And just like a nice vehicle, they are expendable. After a few years, the 12 volt battery is toast. It gets used, it gets cold, it gets warm. Uh, the capacity wears down to a point where it can no longer support the full systems of the car. At which case, because the Tesla has fully electronic doors and even the frunk, there is no way to get inside of the car, easy way that is, when the 12 volt battery dies. When the 12 volt battery dies, your car is dead. Deader than dead. So it's pretty important to watch out for the signs of a 12 volt battery wearing out. And so here are some tips so that you don't get stranded with a dead 12 volt battery. Now, Teslas are pretty smart, and the car is smart enough to tell you, typically, when the battery is about to die. And so you'll typically get a polite message on your screen. It, you, it, you can't dismiss it. It's persistent, so it'll always be there until it gets replaced. That says, replace 12-volt battery soon, or service the 12-volt battery system soon. And again, you can't miss it. When this happens, you really need to replace it as soon as possible because the high voltage battery can't charge the 12 volt battery efficiently once this error pops up. If your state of charge in the car falls below 20%, it's done. The 12 volt battery will run itself dead to run the computers to stay in power saving mode and eventually it'll just shut off. So if this happens, if you see this message, don't let your car's state of charge fall below 20%. Keep it charged and replace that 12 volt battery as soon as you can. Sometimes if the car can't catch it in time, you'll notice some other things that are happening inside of uh, the car, specifically in the infotainment system. So sometimes your whole computer inside the car will crash, the screen will glitch out, and if that happens more and more frequently, that is a sign that your 12 volt battery is on its way out. That's not an end all be all. Some firmware updates are more buggy than others, but be mindful of it. There may also be errors that pop up. So random errors, I don't really mean anything, they're harmless. Uh, they don't affect the, the driving state of the car, but just like the infotainment crashes, you might also experience random errors that are cleared with a reboot. If you get those, and especially once again, if they're more frequent, that's another sign the 12 volt battery is on its way out. Now, if you're curious and you have a voltage meter, you are able to pull the 12 volt battery from the car. And that requires opening up the front, taking off the plastic panels and all that. A reading of 12.6 volts means that you have a healthy battery. That is normal at its standard, but anything below 12 volts. So if you're reading 11.8, 11.5, any of those voltages are a death sentence for the battery. That means the battery's on its way out. That being said, you wanna make sure that your battery is fully charged before it gets yanked for, for the voltage reading. As long as the car is awake and it's been on for a few hours, you should be good to go. So the last thing to look out for is the age. These batteries typically last three to four years. So if your battery is reaching that limit, you might consider preemptively replacing it. If you live in a cold climate, somewhere where it snows a lot, like I do, you may experience uh, a shorter lifespan because the cold gets to the battery and degrades it much faster than it would if it were uh, in fair weather all the time. So if you're experiencing more errors and crashes during a cold snap, that is a sign that your 12 volt battery is going out the door. So the battery's last breath. If for some reason the battery completely kicks the can while you're driving the car, uh, you'll get a message on, this, on the screen that says pull over safely uh, because there's an error with the 12 volt system. In this case, if you receive this error, please do not ignore it. The car won't make it easy for you to ignore anyways. The car really should not be driven any further once you get that message because the 12 volt battery runs everything from the airbags to power steering to literally everything inside of the car that's not the motors is controlled by that battery. So you, you don't wanna risk it. But in some cases, you may be able to limp your car to the nearest service center if you have one near you. For example, if you just have a dead battery and you're able to jump it, you're able to charge it from another car for, for I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, that may be enough charge to keep the battery alive until you can get somewhere that can service the battery. So if you pull into a Tesla service center with a dead battery uh, in with this error message showing, they'll they'll bump you to, the, to a priority queue because this is an, basically an emergency in your car. They'll take care of you. It doesn't take very long. It can be a little pricey. They'll get you back on the road in no time. If you're not near a service center and you can't get your car to a service center, there are different ways that you can recover the 12 volt battery. So of course, the first one is just to call Tesla roadside service. They'll send a mobile ranger out with the, with the tools and the replacement battery and put it right in your car wherever you are. That's 
that's the easiest option, but it also can be the most expensive. If you are completely on your own and you have to replace the battery yourself, it's not that more difficult than a normal ICE vehicle, but you can find the specs for the battery, the exact battery that you need in the description below. So if you need to replace the battery, but the battery is already dead, what you have to do is you have to manually open the front without using electronics. So beneath the toe eye cap in the front bumper cover, you'll find two wires, a ground and a live. If you apply 12 volts to those two cables, the front actuator, the, the latch will open. So you can do that for, with literal jumper cables from another car, or you can go to the store and buy one of those cell 12 volt batteries. It looks like a, like a half the size of a double A. Either one of those will work. And if you wanna be safe for the future events, if you think this might happen to your car, you can literally duct tape one of those 12 volt cell batteries beneath the tow eye cap. So that's about it. If you're concerned about your 12 volt battery, you know what to look for, you know how to fix it. For more videos like this, smash subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.